I was chosen by God. What's up ladies and gents, Tinkage30 here. I hope everyone is having a great day. So welcome back to the monthly series. What are you playing this month? We're asking you what you'll be playing in the next 30 or so days. We are well into the new year and thinking about it, we're only about three months away from E3 and all those hopefully big reveals that will continue to empty our pockets. But before then, we got a lot of games to cover in this month's extended edition for March 2018. It's of course a small sample out of the hole, but it's a nice mix of old and new. So let's begin as many words will now be spoken. I played every Far Cry game except for the first one which was developed by Crytek. Actually, I take that back. I kind of played the first Far Cry, but it was on the original Xbox and it was completely different than the PC version. It was like a whole new game, but in the same universe. You got feral powers and I asked Squawker about the PC version and he said you didn't really get any after asking him the differences and it seemed to really diverge, but it makes sense for the Xbox version to change things up because at the time it probably couldn't handle a port of the PC version. But anyway, Far Cry 5. I never expected a fictional county in Montana to be the backdrop for this new entry in the series. I feel like it's a nice departure from 3 and 4 because the environments felt a little similar after a while. And the trailers for this game have gotten successively crazier and zanier, but the main reason why I'm interested, even with how familiar Ubisoft's open worlds can get, is the campaign co-op. Far Cry 4 co-op, sans campaign, was sweet, and more of that is just yes please. Also throw in the fact that you can customize your character, although at this point I don't know how customizable, but it's definitely a plus for me. Hopefully Ubisoft has cooked up something fresh in their open worlds, but I think it's safe to say that playing with a friend is the best way to paint the town red. Far Cry 5 is out March 27th. There haven't been too many pirate games that I've played, there are probably also not too many pirate games that I know about, but the ones I have played have been pretty cool. There's been Secret of Monkey Island, and of course, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, of which is still an amazing game to play. So deep down, in my heart, I'm rooting for Sea of Thieves. I'm really hoping the developer Rare can bring some of their old school magic again. I haven't seen too much footage of the game besides that first reveal at E3 and snippets here and there or have taken part in any betas, but it just looks like you can have a swashbuckling good time solo or with a group of friends as you explore the high seas, finding exotic lands, reaching hidden treasures, singing shanties, and fighting in ship-to-ship -ship battles. The possibilities are there, and I hope it's good. It's out March 20. Alright, so what was it two months ago now? I put Nino Kuni in January's release list when I had no idea it was late until March. I was totally out of it in December, so I wasn't reading too many game articles. But I'm pretty sure it's out this month now. And for you folks who immensely enjoyed the first one, the sequel is looking pretty rad. I mentioned this last time, but I wasn't too into the first one because, I don't know, something's wrong with me. But even if I didn't get into it, I can still appreciate the game. And I'm thinking Miss Multiconsole is definitely going to play this, so I'll for sure check it out there. It's out March 23rd. Heaven. From the makers of Brothers, The Tale of Two Sons comes a way out. It's always refreshing to see a new IP because I remember the first time I watched the trailer, I was immersed. In my head, I was like, what is this? It looks like there's co-op. Heists, maybe? I'm digging the story and presentation. I'll probably buy this. And that's pretty much how my thought process went. There seems to be a lot of passion in this project, and I can dig that. So on a side note, my friend Joe's Vids loved Brothers. So he's really keen on wanting to play this, and he's already down for co-op. So expect some videos on a way out. I got update Origin 2. It's out March 23rd. Come on, Leo! <laughs> Alright, so here are a lot of quick hits. Y'all remember Fear Effect? If anything, I remember the advertisements. But graphically, it looked awesome back in the day and gave me that Blade Runner vibe. The newest one, Fear Effect Sedna, takes place four years after the first game opts for an isometric view with possible real-time tactical action. I downloaded the demo, but I didn't get a chance to play it, 
This one could be good, but we'll see. It's out March 6th. Vincent and I have been playing Northgard in Early Access, two of us versus two AIs, and it's probably the most fun I've had in a new strategy game in a while because it's not just micromanagement, but it's also about survival as the seasons change from the warmest of springs to the harshest of winters. So as you fight other factions and Nordic beasts, you have to prep wood and food for your townsfolk, or they'll be unhappy campers. Once it's out March 7th, the single player campaign will also be available. <laughs> Warhammer Vermintide is one of those games where I wish I played the first one, but my friends and I were either busy or we were playing other games. If you can't tell already, I'm huge into co-op, and since this is based around co-op, the inevitable sequel was immediately on my wish list. But sadly, it's probably going to stay there for a while because of Far Cry 5, A Way Out, and Monster Hunter. But eventually, I hope I can bring some friends together and bludgeon some giant rats. It's out March 8th. Sources at the northern outskirts of our colony. Surviving Mars is a sci-fi city builder where, and I quote, stake your claim on the red planet and build the first functioning human colonies on Mars. You're gonna need supplies, oxygen, and of course, a can-do attitude, and hopefully, Matt Damon. It's out March 15th. So these next three games are either remastered or made HD. The first is Burnout Paradise Remastered. I grabbed this on the PS3 a long time ago when it released, and the car crashes never got old. Whether it was for takedowns or for creating as much chaos as possible, it was such a fun game and a blast to play. I spent hours trying to get the high score. It's out March 16th. <laughs> The second is the Devil May Cry HD collection for newer systems. I only played the first Devil May Cry and I remember shooting spiders inside a church or something. But I watched Just Two Game play some Devil May Cry and the later ones are still pretty cool. And it makes me want to continue and finish Bayonetta 2 and Nier Automata. Now that's what I'm talking about. Lastly we have Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered and if you haven't played Rogue, please play Rogue. It came out quietly on last gen consoles around the time its big brother Assassin's Creed Unity came out on our current gen consoles. If you enjoy the sailing from Black Flag, and also if you enjoy the cold frozen north, check it out. I recommend it. It's out March 20th. Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered. Alright, so there were some other games I wanted to put here, but the video would have been way too long. So I cut Attack on Titan 2 and this survival horror game called Agony that takes place in hell, which sounds interesting. But what you're seeing here right now is Ghost of a Tale, and I did a single video on it, which I uploaded on July 27th, 2016. The game looked great then, but two years later it looks so much more improved now. It was already a charming game with an adorable lead character named Tilo, and the stealth gameplay was right up my alley. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out when it releases. As for me, Monster Hunter is still the main attraction. Single videos will be scattered throughout, but expect some Far Cry 5, along with maybe a few surprises along the way meaning videos that I still have to edit. So with all that behind us, let me turn my head toward you all and ask, what are you playing this month? That's going to be it for this episode. The list of games is down below in the description. So if y'all made it this far, thanks for watching. And as always, take care and Tengu230 out. All right, y'all. Keep on, everybody. Keep smiling. Thanks for the support. And I'll see you next month.